the love arch. So when is it possible to pass it through the love arch? Okay. You have to do two things. The first one, to close your eyes, to make a wish. That for sure come through in one year. And another <laughs> thing, it's important you are not so shy, to kiss the person that you love. Okay, if you don't have anybody, okay, the guide is available, Glory is available, <laughs> and the descriptions here are good looking too, are available too. So, are you ready for your wish first? And three, close your eyes and make your wish. Andiamo. Open your eyes and kiss the person that you love. Bravissimi. Bravi! Very good, very good. It was a quick glimpse into the heart of Italy. And there's so much more. Stay with me and see how we captured memories and left our love and footprints as we navigated through this lovely country. Italy, we love you. Grazie. Check, check, check. Huh. Some program where them have no reach. Christine, you think classic, it classic. Oh Out of road, they match at it, say. Whoa. Your program well classic. People can't wait to go watch it, yeah. Your think classic, it classic. Your style MC cosmetic, yeah. Your think classic. Italy was among the top five countries I wanted to visit on my bucket list. So when my girlfriend, Carlia, came to me and said, Chris, I want to do Italy and Greece this year for my birthday, I was like, girl, I am in like Flynn. Now, where do we start? <laughs> so she did her research and she came up with this group called the EF Go Ahead Tours. I said, what do you know about them? She's like, Chris, they'll do all the legwork and all the planning, all we gotta do is just come up with the money and we're all in. So I'm like, go ahead girl, let's do it. And she was correct. Not only was the planning stress-free, but it was very easy on our pockets. Little did we know what was all planned for us and in such a short time frame. Stick around and continue to watch to see our journey. Our long flight started in Newark, New Jersey. Secure your own mask before helping others. Luckily, we were seated together in groups. So we ate, we chat, we slept, watch movies, repeat. And before we knew it, we were preparing for landing in Naples, Italy. landed safely, cleared immigration, and believe you me, we were exhausted. Exhausted, yes, but still excited about the whole trip. So as we waited for the bus to pick us up, I decided to just venture outside for a little bit to scope out my first outdoor Italian experience. It was a cloudy day to begin with, but it was just as I expected. Everyone was dressed casually, nonchalantly going about their business. Nothing fussy or stuffy about the air, you know. As a matter of fact, the common theme was everything classic. And this continued throughout the entire trip. Once we met up with our go-ahead tour rep, we were then directed to our bus to begin the approximately one hour commute to Sorrento. This was so relaxing and a treat for my eyes and my curious mind. I watched as the landscape transformed from concrete to greenery, then greenery with a mountainous view. Absolutely spectacular. What I love about this trip is that all I had to do was just show up. EF Go Ahead Tours 
did all the arrangements. They made all the plans for every single day on this 10 day trip. They did the tickets, the airplane tickets. So if you wanted like a direct flight from, from your location to Italy or wherever you're gonna go with them, then you have to pay more. So every, it's all about money. If uh, once, once we got to the airport, they picked us up. Every single thing was arranged by the tour group. And so far, so good. Everything is working out really nicely. So as we enter into the town of Sorrento, you could see the beautiful body of water there. Over to the right, the streets are very narrow. And it's almost scary because you're so close to all those main buildings. Uh, really beautiful. Simple room with classic style. Everything was immaculate, nice, clean, crisp white sheets. What more could he ask for? But most of all, what caught my attention was the Italian garden view. Beautiful Italian garden view. The multi-dimensional backdrop of the mountains, the architectural outline of the homes, the lush green trees, the shrubbery, and then we have the lemon trees at the bottom. And of course, it's time for lemons and it's in full bloom. I was extremely tired as jet lag was setting in. However, no rest for team, no sleep as we had to prepare for the evening festivities, which included the welcome dinner and taking a stroll in the streets of Sorrento. So after capturing some Italian sun rays, I decided to take a brisk shower in my classic bathroom. Nice clean towels, lovely walk-in shower stall, and I hope you saw the luxurious bidet on the other side. That's cute, right? Yeah, it's so nice. They're really nice bar. They got Japanese whiskey. They got everything. Dry martini. So here we are walking in Sorrento. This area is kind of empty, but if I turn around, here's the fan band. <laughs> and they are having a blast. That's my male. And here's another one in the back there. Miss Simone. Mona ever ready?
So, day two was filled with lots to do in the Capri area. So we were up by 6 a.m. Then we had to quickly make ourselves a breakfast plate from the hotel restaurant in order to be on time for the bus. It's actually Mount Vesuvius, which is the responsible for Pompeii. It's a volcano. Now, I need your help, please. You may want to follow me for a second and then I move you to another little area when you can still have a picture beautiful uh, about the sea and whatever. But I need to have you fairly close. I'm going to fly in two seconds with my Peter Pan wings. So we go and take uh, the uh, ticket for all of you. Then we go on the boat and then you can have free seating on the boat. That was our lovely tour guide, Gloria. A dynamo. Such a gem. A patriot at heart gracious and kind lady. She really took her jobs very seriously. She was also a great storyteller and always had some enlightening, educational, and inspiring story to tell. So we just got off the ferry and <laughs> I have no idea where we're going, but I'm just following Pinocchio. <laughs> Our tour guide, she's really a blast and her little ideas of keeping everyone united is quite unique. She has a Pinocchio on a stick so we could literally see this thing from a distance to see where she is because of course we have the group who wants to take pictures all the time so we often get uh, separated a lot. That can be annoying. I don't know if you could see Pinocchio. There is Pinocchio. Hello, children on the island. So what are we going to do on this leg of the, of the now tour? Now we go to the south side of the island that is an amazing area of Capri where you can see beautiful grottos, beautiful color of the water, the Farayoni rocks. So we spend about one hour, less than one hour all around. All so right. You can enjoy the best part of the island. All right. And nice. the sea is very calm, it's very quiet, so you can enjoy. All right. Then. All right. All right. We say how beautiful you are. Oh my God! We'll Thank you. Thank you. You, I won't hear you. All right. I'm gonna put it on now. All right. So wear this now. show you okay okay let me show you the first thing where I live my house my house is up there look at the white one in here do you like it's also just a sexy 
seven minutes of yours. I work just one day every 120 days. You know, three days per year. Gloria, my house is up there. My villa, the new one. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Joseph is just turning around so you can take a picture. Is it just an optical illusion? Over there, look, you can see the Marina Piccola, and that takes the name of the bank. Now, the residential area of the island is very, very nice. And to the top of the Marina Piccola, we have the Mount, sorry, Mount of Solaro. The Mount of Solaro is the highest mountain of the island. 589 meters, about 2,000 feet, where it's impossible to reach Okay, by Shelly. All right, up to the top, you can see the view of all the island around. Okay, so now the captain, okay, stop in here just a few minutes so you can take you know, the pictures, okay, of the Fara Uni rocks. This is the best spot to have a, one of the best memories of the island. Two, and three. Close your eyes and make your wish. And Open your eyes and kiss the person that you love. Bravissimi! And that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Day 2 Italy continued. I just didn't want to make this video too long. If you haven't already, please go ahead and share this video. Smash that like button and hit subscribe. It's Christine G. Signing out, sending big love to each and every one of you. Bye.